All right, guys, this is going to be pair number three. I know in the previous video I said the pair number three uh, because in my mind I was considering Nars Barkley as my first pair, but in reality, I'm just going to go over these top 12 main pair that I'm going to be breeding this year. So this is technically going to be pair number three. Not like it really matters. I just want to correct myself. I know it was a mistake. I watched the video. I'm like, oh, man, that's freaking pair number two, not number three. But nonetheless, guys, let's move on. This cockbird here, Chris 2, obviously no need no introduction needed he comes from chris brazilla uh when chris was getting out of the sport he was selling off his birds again like i mentioned in the previous video it's gonna be the best place to get pigeons because the guys no longer need them uh they are they're no longer in competition so they for therefore they're gonna get rid of all the birds and you know this was one of the main birds i when i talked to chris on the phone um, I expressed my interest in the gold band stock. I said, if you got something off the gold band, I know the gold band was no longer breeding at that time. So getting my chances, you know, my chance of getting a direct son or daughter was slim. Uh, but I said, whatever you got in the background, put me on a gold band pair. And he put me on to a grandson of the gold band, which that's what he is. And then the hen that he sent was a daughter off the gold band's brother. Um, I, you know, I never got pedigrees from Chris, and I'm not 100% sure what the gold band was. Um, again, probably mixed. My p personal opinion, there's no such thing as pure birds. There's just pure racing pigeons, and that's what I got. Good quality racing pigeons. Uh, and I put that pair together, and in the first year of breeding them, they bred out a 250-mile money race winner. Uh, that bird paid for the pair of pigeons and then some. number one and two this was band number two so the very first youngster that they produced was a winner perfect i bred that same pair last year and the hen gave me trouble she gave me one egg one youngster and then she didn't fill a single well she didn't lay in a second egg all season long so i'm not sure what was going on again i feel that i have missed something with the birds in my last breeding season and it showed uh, this year she didn't feel right to me guys uh, i picked her up she felt light now i i normally reduce the size of my hens let me get these guys to calm down calm down guys they're jumping into other boxes and they're causing issues uh, one second sorry i left the door open and now they're all going in the freaking hallway come on guys you guys are killing me here Come on, come on, come on. There you go, get back, there you go. I've been really working with the birds to maintain their boxes. I hate birds that get crazy and get out of the their, their nest boxes when I run up and I especially hate when a bird leaves the nest. That is my by far my biggest pet peeve when it comes to pigeons. If a cock bird or a hen bird or any bird leaves the nest, eggs youngsters to get away from me, that is the, the, the last straw in my opinion opinion that bird goes on the on the shit list and that just remains that way unless it proves to be just a phenomenal racer or breeder of racers uh, being that i couldn't mate or couldn't remate chris uh the chris pair together this year i went ahead and put him on uh what i consider some of my absolute best 155 family uh she is a chocolate bar or some guys call them um not opals they'll call them uh What's the word I'm looking for here, guys? Not opals. Uh, they'll call them. Wow. For a guy who likes colored pigeons, I'm drawing a blank on what they call those chocolates. Uh, nonetheless, chocolate bar. That's what I like to call them. Uh, she is off of who I call Boy Blue, and we'll go over Boy Blue in, a, in the next few videos. And then a hen that I bought offline. She was a. Uh, she was the race winner at the Salem uh special one loft race she was on the winning drop i think she walked in 30th or something like that there might have been 40 plus birds on the winning drop she was in the 30th range uh, so i was able to get her fairly inexpensive and same sort of deal my first year breeding her and i bred her to boy blue they bred me a 100 mile race winner her sister and then she placed seventh on a big money race in the in the classic race uh obviously winning money there so i mean just two nest mates two sisters from the same pair in the first round of breeding them and they bred super at 100 and almost at 400 miles so i could not 
expect for much better results than that guys i mean across the board from the 100 to the 400 they bred winners so she is the seventh place bird i bought her back at the auction and i decided to put them together because i think they just look good together for no other reason than i want to cross my chris family into the 155 family to see how they do now she is some part Sticklebout, some part Beckert, and some part Jansen on the mother's side, including some of the Gallo stuff. And I think that's where the chocolate comes from, uh, from Classic Boy himself. Maybe a great grandparent on the far side, which I don't normally like to throw out names, especially when it comes to grandparents or great grandparents, because in my personal opinion, it really doesn't matter. When you're talking a grandparent, there's four grandparents on a pedigree, there's two parents, and to tell me that this youngster here is as good as she is because classic boy is in the background is nonsense but that's just my opinion like i said for no other reason than i just want to see what they do see how they produce the chris family onto the 155 family they've been good well past the 300 mark and my chris birds so far have been proven to be up to about 300 miles anything after that and they still sort of start to fall behind a little bit so i wouldn't mind necessarily increasing some of that distance but this is what you got guys pair number three chris two that's what i call him because that's his band chris two and then this hen here i've not given her a name maybe we can pick one together guys she's a nice little chocolate splash uh pied with a little bit of white flight figure out a name guys i'm more than welcome and open to suggestions pair number three <laughs> 